that while we breathe, we hope, and where we are met with cynicism and doubt, and those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. There will be setbacks and false starts, block by block, brick by brick, calloused hand by calloused hand. The heartache and the hope, the struggle and the progress, the times we were told that we can't, and the people who pressed on with that creed, yes, we can. Rodrigo, Rodrigo Rode, and I'm an audio engineer and music producer. What I tried to use on this re record was, yes, we can, because the, f the first thing I told Mark was, whatever you want, whatever you need, we can do it. And I always kept like um, positive and say, yes, we can, yes, we can do it. If Mark was saying, can we do another take, yes, we can. I met Mark uh, through through Rod, basically. So um, they were already speaking about um, doing something together. They, I think, they recorded uh, a couple tracks together before actually deciding to produce the the album. And um, and I I came in on one of those sessions. The first uh, track we did was "Bye Bye Me." I remember. We were trying to add more things to the track and we came with ideas to Mark and basically the recording, uh, the recording part is really simple with Mark's ideas and he tried to do takes different from the other ones, for example with backing vocals we came with so, so many ideas. That's the one! I remember one of the first times we recorded, I didn't know Mark very well yet. Um, and I remember listening to one of the parts and and it just kind of popped to me that it, it was it had a lot of influence by Bob from Bob Dylan it had a it kind of style wise it, it really reminded me something on that kind of on that side Antonio a friend uh, Mirko's friend he helped us with the with a lonely trumpet which is as well, when we were recording these tracks with the with the trumpet, we were saying, we, Mark and I we were trying to say, "Wow, this is going to be massive." I'm just picturing, you know, like you can see. Did you press play? A new sense of common purpose. <laughs> yes, we can. So there, there were a few uh, bands uh, used as a reference. Um, I know Mark is pretty fond of uh, the Beatles, uh, which, I mean, I, I'm a big fan as well, but it led to a lot of discussions on which are the greatest bands of our time and how they influenced music, which was interesting. And it's not a closed discussion. It's going to go on. I always, I, I kind of, hear a lot of different aspects of uh, kind of folk music and and pop rock music kind of put together. Yes, I tried to give Mark some ideas that I had before we start recording so we can go around them putting Mark's style in it. Uh, we have obviously Bill's music, we have uh, some groups that uh, independent bands. We were listening to Melody's Echo Chamber and we're just kind of listening to how panning was used um, and Dark Side of the Moon and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah we want to unfold that on it to be part of the movement of the music 
uh, and it it does work. It kind of sways you in different places, and guitars come out from one side and end up on the other, and and it, it's part of the mood and the story of of the album. And then with that last bit, if we're on the left, we can do what we did before and do fucking the slow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We start recording on April, mid April, late April, and it took us a long time to to finish. To finish the record, the, the recordings because so different things. We we had some issues uh, with the studio about if it was available. Uh, Mark was traveling. I was traveling as well. So it it took us more time than we thought. There was um, a few uh, blocks in the way that that sort of held us up a little bit. Um, so yes, yeah, so it did take quite a long time. Um, longer than I would have liked, um, well longer than all of us would have liked, so I imagine, um, but it's just the way it goes. I mean, in that time I've written the next two albums, so, you know, it was it was a long process and I'm, I'm glad we're at this point where it's done and uh, it's, it's out. Told the people that we shall overcome, yes we can. I feel like a lot of the uh, to a lot of the creative uh, work um, was already in in Mark's head. Uh, he had a very clear idea of what he wanted, which is which is great. Um, I've I've been on sessions before where everything is kind of confused, um, and it's nice to have a, to work with an artist that has a very clear idea of what he wants. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. great, and this is, that kind of jazzy thing will probably work a lot better on something to steady me. But with this, I think on the outro, it should just be like a ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba, a ba -da -ba, and just the same stab, just to, yeah. you know. I'd, I'd written all the songs when I was in Peru, and generally when I write, I, I have the idea of, I can hear, um, you know, melodies and um, I can sort of imagine bass lines on that over them. Um, and then when I came back, what I did was I demoed them all, as I always do. So uh, in my little home studio, I um, j I've recorded all the tracks, got them to how I want them. Um, so as when I go in the studio, I knew what I was doing. I raise a drink to this circus, take a guess at my purpose, catch a cab into town. Yeah, I heard some of Mark's music beforehand. I went to Spotify, to uh, YouTube as well, to hear something of him. And the tracks that he sent me, just as a guide, tracks he had in mind, and we worked around from there. Yes, we can. We love you. One time I was talking with Mirko and we were saying that it's been a long, long, long time, so many years since the last time we, we listened to a concept album, a really, really good concept album like this one. Uh, I think overall it works, it works well as an album, as, a, as, a, as, a so, as eight songs together it works well, um, but I don't know, I, I actually have two favorite songs. Uh, one is Turn It Around, uh, and the other one is Black Heart Down. Um, Turn It Around, uh, I mean, I don't know how to explain it well, but it's just how it was arranged and how Mark's voice and uh, Tasha's voice fit together. Um, I don't know, it just gives me a good feeling, you know, when you turn on a, a song and you kind of feel the vibration in, in your body, you kind of, oh, this is a really, really great song. Sorry, I'm getting into it, probably. Okay. Sorry, and again. Don't we worry about time. Uh, 
marvelous girl called Tasha. She has one of the best voices I've ever heard in my life. Do you have any delay? It's, it's from yeah. your voice. Do you want to listen to it? Yeah, let, let me just take it. By the way, that sounded really good. That's, yeah? yeah, really on point. That, that pre-chorus. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I think obviously we're gonna have to just go for it a few times to yeah. see a bang on. But that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she she uh, works on turning around, and it gave massive massive thing to the track. Me and you need to refine our soul and we'll turn it around. We can turn it around and we'll get up from the ground when we turn it around. Working with Rod and Mirko, um, we had Benjamin as well who uh, who also came in and helped out. Um, as well as uh, Jesus, and and it was all great. Um, I mean, obviously, I spent most time with um, Mirko and Rod, and it was it was a really good partnership, and one that you know hopefully will carry on because we kind of all got each other. We knew what our roles were, we knew what we brought to the table, um, but there was no there was no ego or anything between any of us. Working with Mark was great. It was it was nice. Like the way he he worked with music, the the way he treated arrangements and how he tried to give a fresh, uh, you know, a fresh feel to to all the all the pieces um, was was impressive. I, I found it impressive. He's such a gentleman. It was great working with him. Uh, it's so easy because he's always on time, always, always on time. We never lost time waiting for something, for someone. The only time we lost was placing mics and the time in the studio. But it's great because he's so simple, he's, he's so easy going. Uh, I think we have this uh, perfectionist thing, both of us. So either if he doesn't like what he's doing, we do it again, we did it again. Or if I didn't like the take, even if he liked it, we did it again. So that uh, perfectionist thing for from both of us, I think, is really good for this album. You know that Mark has his arrangement, and the song sounds like that, but uh, it's a really dynamic process. And sometimes you kind of you get to a point where you don't even know who. It came up with that small detail. It just kind of happens. It fits in. You, you. That's the most fun, and then uh, the part that makes me prouder to kind of be part of a ever like an always changing process. And it's. I think that's the whole. It's the the most important thing in making music. I, I really. I'm, I'm really thankful to to being able to work with great artists like like Mark because he's such a talented guy. Uh, I told him that he will sing on my wedding. He has to write a song for my wedding. And uh, definitely I, I would like to keep working with Mark. Uh, even if he's not here in London, wherever we are, I think we should keep working together for making better things. Because he won't stop writing music, so and I won't stop doing what I love, so it's a perfect match. Woo!